Insider. Music, dramas, movies, musicals, YouTubers, and more. Anyone who is anyone, the field, uh, the insider of the bunch, joins us every Wednesday to share insight of the world on Insider. Today we have a very, 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 very special guest in the studio. It is none other than artist and very good looking and talented Kevin Wu. Hi. Hi. Hey, Nuna. Oh my God. I am finally back. It's your forever swangel, Kevin Wu. Oh my God. Hey, guys. I have to, okay. Isaac, be as professional as possible today. Yeah, <laughs> you're always professional. No, but like it's been ages since I've had you on the show, and like I only interviewed you with your members, mm-hmm. and like the only time we ever hosted was on TV, and that was like eons ago. Yes, that like, was uh, like a decade ago. More than a decade. Oh my ago. goodness! <laughs> no, it just feels so nostalgic being back in this room. I, right? It doesn't really. It changed, but it doesn't really change. It doesn't really change. I feel like you know, I came back full circle. You know, I started here. Mm-hmm. I grew up here. It's like mm-hmm. my second home, basically. Mm-hmm. Grew up with Nuna. <laughs> She's watching me through all these years. Oh, yeah. Watch me grow up. You know, become a a man. And a, Which like, I still don't like. It doesn't register. Really? You still look fourteen to me. <laughs> 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 well, that's why fans do call me, you know, Peter Pan. Well, yeah, but you haven't aged. I, I swear, Thank you look you. like younger. I'm if younger. Not, <laughs> not. So, uh, Kevin, I mean, I know that 99.9% of the listeners right now know who you are. Mm-hmm. But for anybody who might not know who you are, I mean, just like a brief, like, history profile, yeah. like, introduction. Well, I'm sure there's so many new K-pop fans mm. now who are tuning in who might not know who I am. So, to introduce myself, I've been in a group called You Kiss for the past 10 years of my life. Um, also hosted uh, with Isang Nuna, uh, Pops and Soul, at, here at Arirang. And also hosted After School Club, mm-hmm. also at Arirang, for the past... Four years, ever since 2014, and then now I am a solo artist. Exactly. Kevin Wu. Yeah. So um, you were on After School Club, what, three weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago, and you came to visit. Yeah. Thank so, you. Um, I mean, what was that? Like, you was like a surprise visit, the fans and everybody liked it. was like, what was the special occasion? Well, it was like a stay home special episode where we wanted to, you know, recommend the fans what to do when they're stuck at home. Mm-hmm. And so they called me and uh, BM from mm-hmm. Card. So it was just like a very, like, close friends took chip like a special. Oh. Yeah, it was we a special. Just hung out, played games, um, cooked. Yeah. Which you've been doing a lot of these days. Yeah, there's been so many questions about me cooking, which we'll get into further in later of the show. Yeah, so, I mean, just to kind of show your influence as Mm -hmm. an influencer, like, (laughs) artist. So, 673K as of this morning on Instagram, Uh 100K on TikTok in less than a month. Yes. And, like, eons more on, like, Twitter and everything else. 1.2 million on Twitter. (laughs) Look at that. (laughs) So, I mean... No, I gotta stay humble. uh, But, I mean, the influence is huge. And, I mean, obviously, it's because of, like, the world fandoms as as well. Yes, yes. So, English and Korean is obviously a given. Mm -hmm. How many languages do you think you could probably just, like, introduce yourself with? Oh, introduce myself with? Yeah. Like, you practiced... Probably like six. You know I'm going to make you do it. Yeah, that's why I said six. six. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you a chance to introduce yourself. You did it in English. You can mm-hmm. do it in Korean if you would like. Okay. But introduce yourself in as many languages as you know. Ready, set, okay. go. Hey, everyone. It's your sweet angel, Kevin Wu. 안녕하세요. 여러분들의 미소 천사, 케빈입니다. 고니치와, 미나상. 미나상의 애가오 텐시, 케빈입니다. Uh, hola, como estas? Uh, bonjour. Um, what else? Sawadee kap. Mabu hai. There's so many more, but... Yeah, it just off the six? top of your head. Wasn't that six? I think so. Yeah. All right, so we did see a lot of the messages. Everybody is now starting to answer in their own respective language, yes. and they're really excited. Oh, so, Spanish, yeah. Te amo. There we go. <laughs> Hola, yeah. There's a lot of... Um, I have a lot of fans in Latin America as well. In so, Latin, okay. Yeah. All right. 
That seems to always so you do get a chance to use your social media platforms to really mm-hmm. reach out to the reach fans out to them and engage. As well. I think that's the only way to interact with the fans these days. It you is, know? and it's like a great platform as well. It is like the live broadcast that we can do, and just like the direct mm-hmm. feedback with that. Oh my god! When I first started out in Ukis, we didn't have that. Oh, Twitter started like two years after we debuted. Okay, so before the whole social media platform, uh, we connect with our fans on. On Korean Taom Cafe. Yeah, like t- cafes and stuff like Fan that. Fan Cafe. It, I don't know if you, like the newer fans probably don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, it's like a chat room and then they get all their schedules and notices in this one fan site. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that was the only way um, of communicating. But nowadays it's just so easy. I'm tip of my fingers. Exactly. Yeah. And you get a chance to talk to everybody. Like we got some of our listeners dropping by from like Seattle and Mexico and Brazil yeah. and India. And oh, India as well. And all over the wow. place. Wow. Colombia. I'm just going to read out all the countries. <laughs> Latin America. Well, I mean, you Philippines. Have, you have hosting experience. So today, I know that I'm interviewing you, but mm-hmm. I would also like this to be just kind of like a co-hosting. Yeah, it feels kind of like that, right? I mean, if you see a message that you wanted to read or a mm-hmm. question that you wanted to read out, you can most definitely do so. For sure. Now, I know that you've been gone. You've been solo for a while now, mm-hmm. um, and you've been kind of doing that globally. So I did see you do like a music video shoot in like LA, yeah. but then you were doing promotions in like Japan. Japan. So like how long has those promotions kind of been going? So like as officially as a solo artist, mm-hmm. how long have you been promoting? So I made my official solo debut in 2018. Okay. Uh, it was with my debut song called Right Along. Mm-hmm. And that's the one you mentioned where I shot it in, in LA. LA or to specifically San Diego. No, oh, okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, uh, I started my solo promotions then. I released around... Three singles and one mini album. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I've been promoting in Japan. Like you said, I've been doing tours there. Uh, I was actually living there for about a year and a half, almost two years now. Okay. Um, and now I'm back in Korea because of, you know, COVID-19, COVID-19 situations. But um, yeah, and I've also been doing a tour around uh America mm-hmm. did a tour with James Lee, mm-hmm. one of our good friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did a tour with him in LA and San Francisco. Also did like a KCON tour in Thailand, Australia, um, New York, LA. Mm. So I've been just all around the world, basically. Enjoying life. Just, yeah, yeah, enjoying <laughs> singing and meeting up with the fans and uh-huh. all that other fun stuff. Um, so I know that there's been a lot of questions about like, you know, your cooking and stuff like that. So I kind of want to introduce a few of these. So you've been starting these like kind of encouraging quarantine, also like stay home, work from home, mm-hmm. inspirational stuff. So there's a lot of content you've been doing. Yeah. Just an FYI, every time you post a dancing video, I cringe a little, but I love you. Um, (laughs) Can you tell us why? I can never do that anymore. (laughs) I give you props for being able to do all of that. You know what? You know what? It was really hard to start those TikTok dances. No, because I mean, even Eric Nam just did a podcast about it. And Uh he was just like, he was being blunt, honest about how... You put so much energy, yes. like to post a twenty-second video, edits, right? And the retakes because, like, your mouth has to lip sync yeah. with the, the voiceover. It, it's crazy, but like, I've got a lot of time at home. Yeah. So I think that's why everybody is so obsessed with the app is because, like, everybody has an hour or two to edit a twenty-second <laughs> video. <Yeah. laughs> it was crazy because um, I did one video. It was about like a K-pop audition and then evolving to like a debut stage. And then um, it was with that one sound that's pretty popular on TikTok, like da 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 da. And then that got a million views on my Instagram. Uh. Like, I've never had a million views for everything on Instagram. So I'm just so happy that there's a lot of hype around my TikTok videos. So I think every TikTok video I shoot, I kind of want to step up my game. Exactly. Every which, video. Which you're going to put like two more hours into a 20 Lots second of pressure, video. But <laughs> no, I'm just having fun with it, honestly. Okay. Now, your live show cooking is a thing now this is one thing that i don't get because like i said i told our listeners just a few moments ago i still picture kevin as 14 and so whenever i see like every once in a while he'll post like a cocktail in his hand or like he'll or a shirtless post yeah i'm like (laughs) it's like my little brother is like all grown up now and it just i can't cope and so like you cook is and i cook yes to be honest, are you the one cooking or is mama helping you out in the background? 
Honestly, um, <laughs> honestly, yeah, my parents do help out with the ingredients and setting up. But when you watch my Insta lives, it's by myself. I, I'm cooking the whole thing for an hour. Well, yeah, I, yeah, okay. yeah. But I do receive a little bit of help from my parents. Yes. Okay, so mom and dad do help. Yeah, but okay. uh, deciding the dishes—that's all me. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I yeah. did see that you've been posting a lot of like choices. Yeah, polls and, and see stuff what the like fans that. Want. Yeah. I want to in- uh, interact with the fans, but uh, it all started when I started to live alone in Japan. Okay. That was like two years ago, mm-hmm. and I've never lived alone. Um, and that was such a new experience for me, and I was worried. I, I was like, if I'm at home, I don't know how to cook. So how am I gonna survive? Mm-hmm. You know, no one's gonna cook for me, and I don't want to eat outside all the time. So mm-hmm. I started to look at some YouTube videos, and I got inspired by a few of these. Um, you know, influencers. Mm. So I started cooking at home and started doing Insta lives, and those were really, you know, popular. Popular. Um. So I need to be completely honest, because I mean, they look good. I've seen your videos; they look good. Where are you getting it? The taste. So I need, because I know you have a sister. <laughs> uh huh. Has your sister ever tried your cooking? Deanna, my sister's also watching, by the way. So shout out Hi, to beautiful. Deanna. <laughs> I miss you. Deanna loves my cooking. You sure? <laughs> Hun, come on, send leave me in a the message. comments, Deanna. Yeah, leave in a message. It the all depends truth. on you. <laughs> the honest truth about Kevin's cooking. She loves my cooking. Honestly, to be really fair, like she's also a good cook too. But I. I'm a little better. Okay. I'm a little better. Well, Maria's being really uh, sweet and saying that the real question is what Kevin cannot do. Oh, what can I not do? <gasps> hmm. I don't know what. Rapping. I think, no, I, I think if we put you to the test, I think you could probably do that too. <laughs> okay, so you're talking about like cooking and stuff like that on your mm-hmm. own. I'm not going to out your age, but I mean... If we just do some calculations, mm-hmm. we can kind of tell how old you and I both are. So, yes. um, which I don't want to do. Yeah, we're not. I'm not going to do that either. Um, because I know you're going to tell how old I am, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, I mean, just hashtag adulting because I feel this kind of comes into like a broad uh, aspect of you said about when you started living in Japan mm-hmm. was the first time you were ever on your own because mm-hmm. you had your members and you were always living yes. in the dorm. There was either another member or somebody in the house that might have cooked or you know there was somebody. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, has hashtag adulting, like, sunk in? Do you feel like you're making the transition or... Um, I was on the road to, and then I came back to Korea, and I'm back with my parents. Oh, so it kind of stopped. So it's just kind of like, yeah, <laughs> it, it disappeared. Uh, but I do still have those skills within me, uh-huh. so I'm sure if I ever live alone again, um, adulting, all those skills would come back. Uh-huh. But for now, I- I'm very comfortable. I-, I am eating my mom's cooking at home. Okay. I cook for her sometimes. Oh. Uh, cleaning was also a very hard aspect for me, too. I- well, that never gets easy. Right? It never gets easy. Don't worry. It's okay. It never gets easy. <laughs> Just never. <laughs> I- yeah, yeah. Anyways. Um, we have the amazingly talented Kevin in the studio. There's actually a few questions that I have. He has a few of your questions already in front of him. We're going to take a quick song break, come back. He's going to be reading some of your questions. I'm not going to do it today. He's going to do it. So he's going to read the questions and answer them in just a few moments. I'm going to have some more questions about some of his tracks and his U-Kiss days as well. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad that you have that reaction. We're going to take a quick song break and then we're going to come back. So Kevin's singing Beautiful Day and we'll see you guys back after this with more of our Insider. K-pop and fam and all Andy Dung Radio listeners, it's our two of K-pop and I'm your host, Isaac. Today is Kevin Day, according to our listeners, also known as K-Day because Kevin's back in the studio. Kevin, woo woo! And it's the first time I've actually had you, like, here by yourself mm-hmm. being interviewed. Yeah, so exciting. I still remember the first taping we did of Pops and Soul. Oh, my God. That was just like the room next door. Yeah, it was the room it? next door. Wow, with Eli and Alexander. No, you were by yourself at first. Oh, at first? Yeah. And then they joined? And then Alexander joined. And then it became chaotic, right? Yeah, and it was all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, I remember the first day you came. Yeah, still remember that day. I remember I had a, a perm. Yeah. I had like a perm because we were doing I Like You promotions. I'm, I'm really sad. I miss you I'm really glad that you like embrace. I your embrace kiss, it. Yeah, your, your kiss days. There's, what is there to be embarrassed about except for those pictures? <laughs> <laughs> but I've embraced. I've embraced those too. You know what? During the next song break, I think I I have a picture mm-hmm. of you and me. I think it was Sion and 
Alexander. They were, <sighs> we did. We had this picture, and we it was like really, really tacky from the room next door. I'm gonna try and buy it. I'm gonna <sighs> send it to Queen V so she can play it for us like after the next song break. on the screen. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So the can entire we world, or I'm gonna share it after the show. I'm gonna find it and share it after the show. Okay, let's see what. Let's see what uh, it's more is. embarrassing for me though. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's more embarrassing for me, so don't worry. So digging your own grave. I am. Okay. okay. Um, now speaking of your you kiss days, uh-huh. uh, I've noticed that a lot of people are getting really into like older K-pop. So like some yeah. hidden gems is what they're calling mm-hmm. it in Korean. It's sum de mm-hmm. So like you know your hidden gems of songs that you might not know were popular. Sumo- is that it? Oh my goodness, your Korean is so on point. Yeah, it's like a new thing right now. I, yeah. I, I've heard that one of our songs are like on that list. It is. So it's a song that actually I didn't expect to be on the list. It's You Kiss's Shikuro or Shut Up. Yes. Ah! And I was looking at the promotion. I just flashbacks of the music video. And I was looking at the <laughs> the, the performances uh-huh. and I was like, ooh. Shh. Shikuro. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. But that performance was like mind blowing back then. Well, yeah, it was. We had like this little like um domino effect uh-huh. where the first guy in the middle, I think it was like Tomo or something, uh-huh. and he would do it and they would be like Shh. and you would do yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. else. Would it was do it. mind blowing. Um but yeah, that's the song that um it gained a lot of popularity globally too. Okay. Because of the performance and the music video. So why was the music video so popular? Because I was shirtless. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't watch 17. it. At oh, seventeen. That's why I don't remember watching this music <laughs> video. I think I distinctly saw it. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Okay, and then I turned it off. I don't like being popular because of me, but it was a pretty shocking factor <laughs> it back was. then. It was. It was. It um, was. To see me from doing Origiana. And then uh, Nigajoa with the the curly fry hair, and then it was like mom like Chikoro or something. Yeah, it was it was pretty big. Yeah. Um, uh, Caroline was saying that the music video was perfect, so we don't have to worry about it. Nancy was saying that Neverland was actually one of the songs that got them into K-pop. Yes, I've heard a lot of that from our fans as well. Mm-hmm. That Leon was, was saying, yeah, actually my favorite song. Okay. Yeah. Stop Girl and Neverland are some of their favorites Ooh, as girl. well. Stop. Girl in the name of love. Yeah. So there's some questions that mm-hmm. came in for you. I'm going to have you take over. So you read the really? questions and you can answer Can I just them. take over today? Sure. Can you be my guest? Sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. Oh my God. I'm totally P-D-Nim's down. Like... <laughs> no, P. Neem's happy. She's like a huge smile on your face. It's oh, your really? fine. Green light. All take right. over. All right. It's okay. There's hearts coming in. It's, all, it's look, fine. Look at this. I've got so many messages from all over the world. Um, Some place I didn't even know I had fans uh, in, like El Salvador. Okay, so read the question. Um, Fan name is Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Hello, Isa, Queen V, and writers. Uh, Here are my questions for Kevin. Does he think, uh, make a reunion with his former members? Uh, How many languages he can speak? Uh, What does he do to keep the positivity in this lockdown besides TikTok challenges? (laughs) Oh, she knows me very well. Yeah, so, I mean... Member reunion? I did see you meet up with the members not too long ago. Not too long ago. Yeah. We actually met up like two days ago. So you do keep in touch? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. We keep in touch all the time. So do you guys have a group chat? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, we dear do. Lord. That group chat never, um, like, it. we never left that room. Oh, Oh, yeah. so it's like old chat room. It's an old, it's an ancient chat room. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, whenever they come to Japan to perform, and when I was living there, we'd meet up in Japan. Uh, every time I come to create a visit, we'd always have, you know, drinks now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's weird for me to say in front of Isang Luna because... But yeah. yeah. I bought him his first drink, yeah. too. Yeah. Bad influence. Crazy. No, no, no. <laughs> I was such a bad influence. My, I bought him yeah, his first alcohol. Transition into adulthood. Yeah. Um, and we meet up all the time and we always talk about, you know, the old times. And no matter how much time has passed, it's always never going to change between us. And we always talk about doing a reunion. A reunion. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it could be totally doable. I think it's totally doable. Okay. Once the timing is right mm. and um, when the fans are ready, and I'm sure they are. Oh, yeah, we're ready. <laughs> we are. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, man. You know, when we meet up, we um, meet up in like in this room at, you know, restaurants and we did like a karaoke with our speaker oh, dear. and we used to sing our old songs and the 사장님, the 
the, the owner of the restaurant would complain. Because you guys are too loud. We were too loud. That's cute. We just have videos, but no, uh, that's not going to go anywhere. I want to see those videos. I'll show it to you later. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, I mean, I think this is a key point here. A lot of our listeners are probably working from home. Mm -hmm. uh, And, I mean, they've probably been on quarantine for the past couple of months. Yeah. Staying positive right now is, I think, like, really hard, especially for a lot of people. It comes in waves, actually. Um, I was first really, um, you know... Kind of discouraged, very not depressed, but like you know, I was just feeling sad. just sad that you know the whole world is is on lockdown. But then um, I try to keep myself positive. I keep myself busy, and then after like a month, I'm just it, reality hits me again. again. I'm just like, I don't really see you know anytime mm. soon that we're all gonna be traveling again and work. So it it comes in waves. Mm. But I think like with every wave, we have to remind ourselves mm-hmm. that there are things we can do uh, amidst these um, situations. Okay. And um, I think one other great thing is to be connected with a community. Okay. Um, if if that's K-pop for you, if, mm. if that's music, if that's friends, family, uh, Zoom calls, anything, just to make sure that you're not alone. I think that will b- definitely bring your spirits back up. Okay. Definitely. Uh, Mimi is sending in a question, something about cooking. It's at the end of your page. Okay. This one. This one. All right. Mimi from Korea. 안녕하세요. Question for Kevin. Kev- Kevin. Kevin, uh, I've been seeing you cook on your Insta lives. What's your favorite food to cook? And what makes you feel the most nostalgic about your childhood food wise? Okay. So favorite food to cook. Well, the easiest for me is Korean food. Okay, yeah. but out of that, like, your go-to dish. My go-to dish, uh, definitely, like, stews. Okay, jjigae. jjigae. Kimchi jjigae. Or uh, Korean pancakes, kimchi jjon. Ooh. It's also very easy to make and very tasty. Oh, yeah, you did a video for that, too. Yes, I did. Um, so, yeah, a lot of Korean foods would be my favorite dish. My most recent one was pude jjigae. And yes, it was. was so good. <laughs> it was my first time making it, but, like, I'm not lying. It was the best pude jjigae I've had. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now I need... I, we're still waiting for his sister's confirmation <laughs> of his food yeah. Deanna, cooking Yeah, where are you when I skills. need you? <laughs> where the, where I, I don't see any confirmations here. <laughs> I don't see any. Um, another question. Another question. All right. Um, this is from Anya from mm-hmm. the... Czech Republic? Mm-hmm. Is that how you pronounce it? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's pretty long, so I'll just go to the question. Um, by the way, hi, Anya. <laughs> Her question is, what inspires you when you make music? And another one, do you think in English, Korean, or Japanese? Thank you and love you. Do you think in? What do I think in? I think in English. Okay. That, that has never changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes I do honjammal. <laughs> like, I, I talk to you myself to, yeah, in Korean yourself. sometimes, but mm-hmm. like dreaming and thinking wise, definitely in English. Mm. Yeah. And what are my inspirations when I'm making music? Um, it could be anything from what I'm going through at that moment or... Um, when I don't have any new ideas, I, I go back to like movies that I like mm. or, or books that I like mm. um, or even just other music that I like to listen to. Okay. Yeah. I think we need you to have like a quick hello in Korean because 네. Kevin 최고님 says Kevin님 English가 너무 많아서 제가 못 알아듣고 있지만 아, 대충 알아들으려고 노력하고 있어요. 어, 어. 너무 반갑습니다. 네, Kevin 최고님 안녕하세요. <웃음> 네, 오랜만에 이렇게 한국말로 하는 것 같은데 한국말 안 까먹었어요. 네, 걱정하지 마시고요. 어, 저도 이제 앞으로 한국에서도 어, 활동할 수 있도록 많이 응원해 주세요. Oh, that like well prepared broadcast <laughs> men, like comment. Like I was, said, I've oh. been here for thirteen years. Yeah, like that very well rehearsed. It wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> it was just it's in my blood. I guess. Yeah. yeah no, it, you've been you've been systemized. I guess you could say. <laughs> Um, so Christine also uh, was curious because from Canada, she was saying that you came at a really young age. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have any other dreams other than wanting to be an idol? Because you came at such a young did age. I? So like, you know, even as you were like a trainee or doing music, did you ever have like maybe slightly another dream? 
I don't think I did. Okay, so like just performing as always. I just knew I been. wanted to be on stage. Okay. Like if I look back at my childhood pictures, I was always on stage mm-hmm. at my church or at school. Mm-hmm. Um, I was always a shy kid. Did mom and dad praise this? Like, or are they against you doing music? No, they always they always supported me from okay. the get go. Yeah. Uh, but I think that I just had this hidden talent in me. Whereas when people like looked at me or watched me on stage, it's just like this other persona just came out. Of me. Mm. Um, so uh, we have a really sweet message. Mm-hmm. Nur, one of our listeners, is asking Kevin, could you be my boyfriend for three seconds? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And um, who? Uh, Nikki was asking, is there anything you remember? After coming from Col- like going and going to Colombia, so oh being in Colombia. Yeah, Nikki Gomez sent mm. that question. What is something that he remembers of Colombia? <laughs> uh, so this is a crazy story. Um, you could also look this um, fan cam up on YouTube. Oh dear, there's a fan cam. Yeah, it's <laughs> when we arrived at the airport, airport in Bogota. We did not expect to have thousands of fans waiting Ooh. for us. We came at like two. Or something a.m. Uh-huh. in Colombia time. And we were just going to go to our hotel, just like as if n- no one knew we were there. Uh huh. The gates open and like I have, I have the chills right now. Like I still remember that really, really loud scream. <gasps> and when I came out, there were there weren't many security guards mm-hmm. to help the crowd and get us to the car. Yeah, to like maneuver you and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 because they weren't prepared. And once we went through to our car, they started to reach out to us. Oh, no. A lot of love, though. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was just so frightening, exciting. It was so many mixed emotions, but we really felt the love of um, the Colombian fans. Fans, It was crazy. Lots of passion. My sunglasses flew. Oh, dear. I lost it, but that's you fine. You lost your glasses. So whoever <laughs> was there at the airport that day, those were Kevin's glasses. Yeah. Someone <laughs> might have it. I don't know. Somebody probably took them and was like, oh, my God, it's Kevin's glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see here. Uh, Ronita was saying, I've been in love with Kevin since nine years ago oh, and forever. Nine years ago. Almost a decade. Uh, Brianna was Thank asking you. if you've ever been to Texas. Texas? No, I haven't. So yeah, you've never really been to other parts of the yeah, U.S.? Yeah, it was either uh, New York or California, but I did go to Ohio earlier this year in January for um, an event called OhioCon. Oh, that was so cute. That sounds like so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Korean Japanese convention. Oh. Um, and I was the first K pop artist to perform there. So, yeah, visiting the Midwest is also really cool, too. Totally and awesome. I had to visit so many other states in America. There's just a lot of our listeners saying, I love you. Rushi was saying from Indonesia, my angel Kevin, I just wanted to say, I love you. I love you too. Sarangeo. And we're going to take a quick song break because I can't take this cuteness any longer. We're going to take a you kiss song break before we come back. We've got my mamani and my that easy and warm. Our insider is coming up next. So during the song break, I did show you guys the picture. I'll be posting it later. Why? Why? <laughs> Is this good for it's, any of us? It's 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 bad for both of us. So if you're gonna go down, you're taking me with you. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking you with me. As yeah. So for those of you just joining us today, you're listening to K-pop, and I'm your host, Dizag. It's Insider Day. Kevin's joining us in the studio. Hello. I swear, I'm trying to be as professional as I can today. It's being really hard because he's acting really cute, and he's like sending hearts to his fans. And I know that y'all love that kind of stuff, but it's just like, oh man. Whew. Sorry for all the cringe-worthy content. I mean, they love it, and I'm going to make you do more. But, I mean, for me, as an individual who's known you for about 50% of your life... <laughs> Isn't it normal for you now? I should be used to it, right? You should I be, should be, right? I should be used no, to it. But it's been a while since we've done this together, so I'll take... It takes a little bit of time. By the time I get used to it, it's not going to be used to it. I'm not going to be used to it. Um, So I know that there's some other questions that came in. Yeah. Could you read some of those messages for us? Yeah, there's one from Leon. Okay. Teo, um, what do you want to achieve or is there something you would like to do before you reach 30 internationally? See, I didn't bring age up today. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, before I reach 30, I do want to do a world tour. Which would be great, yeah. But with the current circumstances, mm. but Time I mean, is if ticking. I mean, if 
things that can be happening. Like if the world opens up again, mm-hmm. a world tour could totally be possible? Totally be possible, yeah. Okay. I just need to release more music. And I've been taking this time uh, to write some music, write lyrics, um, get inspired. Okay. Yeah, because I know that once artists like me get really busy, it's hard to stay focused in the studio. Mm-hmm. But it's like a perfect time for us. Okay, to yeah. like, you know, just buckle down a little bit, recoup, yeah. mm-hmm. kind of gather everything together, mm-hmm. make also some stuff. Also been talking with James as well. Oh, yeah. So let's look forward to another, um, maybe, collab. So you know Popcorn just fainted? Yeah, because she wanted to see... Us. No, he... Oh, he... he oh. doesn't yeah. like male celebrities. Oh, really? Is that why he tilted Pop- yeah. this way? Popcorn has a history of not liking our male celebrities. Psh. So when there's a girl that comes into the studio, he'll fall forward. Really? Towards them. If there's a guy in the studio, he'll fall backwards. <laughs> I don't mean you... <laughs> Just kidding. So a world tour, I think, would be uh, great if the world does wait, open mm-hmm. up back up again. Yeah. Anything else? I know that there's a lot more questions. There's so many more. Let's read some of the messages. The live questions or messages. Those or... were the live questions oh, really? too. Just in print? Mm-hmm. All right. There's one from Deanna, which I found really funny because Deanna's a really rare name. Um, my sister's name. But, but it's yeah. not his sister. It's not his sister. But it's not my sister. I really thought it was my sister sending in a question, which is hilarious. Uh, but this is Deanna from Australia. Hi, Kevin. Hope you're doing well and staying safe during this chaotic times. Um, I've been a fan for you for almost eight years now, and it would be epic to see you in real life. Would you be able to do a meet and greet in Australia in the future? Well, like I said, if there are any fans that exist in the world, I would love to visit that country or city. Okay. Um, so we're having a lot of questions. Uh, Blanca was asking, do you, do you remember your time in Peru? Yes, of course. What Do you remember anything special about Peru? Uh, Peru. Uh, like I said, um, all the fans that we met in our when, while we were in touring in Latin America, they're just so passionate. They're very passionate. They're very enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember during the concerts, um, fans would faint during the show because they were pushing to get closer and it was just such a you know um chaotic experience because we were also one of the first k-pop artists Mm. to go to latin america Mm -hmm. well before us there was like super junior something named big bang something named uh but like we were one of the pioneers Mm -hmm. so it must have been so exciting and um oh yeah i mean as a fangirl i would totally be like (laughs) totally psyched if you were coming to my neighborhood yeah so i was just we were all just so worried about their health and if no one was getting you know in danger <laughs> like in danger we don't want anyone to do that so yeah i mean they you love the passion but you also yes. worry that you know yeah exactly. but we'd love to visit peru colombia mexico or any other latin american country in the near future Okay. Yeah. Um, Brianna was asking, what's going to be on this week's dish for Kevin's Kitchen? Hmm. I haven't decided just yet. I do have some ideas. Okay. But uh, once I have those ideas, I'll make a poll on Instagram or Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Um, there was a message from a young listener, I mm-hmm. think you said earlier. Yes. Uh, Hyunjin from Germany. Hello. Um... Should I just read the whole thing? If you want, or you can summarize it if you would like. All right. So, um, actually, I didn't get to know Kevin during the Yukis days, probably because I was, uh, because I am 2005 liner. (gasps) How old is that? I can't calculate. Wow. But uh, I got to know Kevin really early. I got into K-pop in 2018 and got to know him in the beginning of 2019. Sometimes I listen to Ride Along or other songs, and they help me a lot. I have depression, and seeing Kevin being, well, Kevin, it just makes me really happy. Love y'all. Thank you, Hyunjin. You're such a new K-pop fan, also a new Clover as well, so I really appreciate your support. And I think we're all going through a little bit of a rough patch, but... I'm here for you. Let's let's stick together during these hard times and love you, Hanjin. Nikki was asking, did Brooke's message get read? Did Brooke's message get read? I don't think so. Brooke, no, right Brooke. here. Brooke from Brazil. Hola, obrigados. 
Hello, Prince and Dimion. Oh, wow. I was that for Halloween last year. Uh, <laughs> being successful and multi-talented as you are, is there anything you haven't tried as an artist that you would like to try? Love you. Love you, too. Uh, I That I haven't tried yet. I would love to collab with an American artist. Like who? Don't don't be so broad. Not so broad. Do like you know, Post Malone. I want to. I want to collaborate with Beyonce. I want to collaborate. Ariana Grande. There we go. There we go. See, <laughs> how easy is that? And Tori Kelly. Okay. Yeah, I have a. She has a special place in my heart. Um, who else? Uh, Khalid. Yeah. Okay. Love. Okay. Um, so many others. There's a new artist that I've been keeping my eye out on, Alec Benjamin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's so many. I would love to do a collaboration. Uh, there's some questions that I think he's not answering because they're just embarrassing. So Cisco <laughs> was sending them in and it was asking, what's your most memorable after school club moment? Ooh. That's a live, like, yeah, that's a live like televised like there's so many technical difficulties <laughs> yes. and problems that Always could happen saying, hey can you unmute yourself please <laughs> <laughs> during the live hangouts because like, everybody is muting themselves yeah 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 oh no um, yeah lots of technical difficulties <laughs> lots of times when we're hosting the show and the uh, the director is just like telling us to speed up we're ending in 30 seconds but we've got so much to do mm-hmm. so that gave me panic attacks mm-hmm. um what else? Just hanging around the studio before the the show starts with Eric um, and Jimin mm-hmm. and Jay of Day Six. Um, it was just like super fun just to hang out with them. Just to have fun every. We we were so silly, yeah. Aww. Well, J.K. Love from Japan was also just saying, I love you and I always support you and saying 사랑해요. You know, I'm going to steal these back because I gave it to him so he can and read I was, all like, these picking messages. and choosing, but she's just like, expose. Yeah, I'm going to expose you today. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, so uh, it looks like that. Where's another one? Um, EMI from Japan was asking, what's the most surprising thing recently? Like it can be on social media, your mom scared you in the middle of the night. Uh, the most surprising thing that you've done recently? Most surprising thing? Um, well, there's not really much going on in my life. I don't know, like you saw a bug or anything like that. Um, that I could sleep more than 12 hours. Oh, Oh, you found out you can sleep yeah. more than 12 hours? Yeah. Because, oh, wow. like, most of us right now, we've been eating, sleeping. Sleeping, eating, eating sleeping. sleeping. Uh, but, yeah, one time, like, I just slept, and it, I realized I slept, like, 13, 14 hours. There we and go. And I was like, why does my back hurt so much? And I only had, like, one bathroom break. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Just sleep like a baby. Uh, Xana was asking, is there any one song that's on repeat on your playlist at the moment? At the moment, yes, Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber stuck with you. It just and, had to be an Ariana Grande song. And Day Six. Oh yeah, the recent zombie. Comeback. Zombie. Yes. Mm. Um, please support Day Six. They're my brothers. Oh, Christine was saying when Timmy cried when Kevin left the show. Oh. <sighs> that was really tough. Oh. Oh my God. I rarely see Jimin cry. Yeah, you be- would. Because she's like my little sister and she roasts me all the time. My fans know this. Everyone knows you this. You know how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I feel. Imagine like when we said bye and like I, I started crying. Imagine how that would feel. Yeah. But that was, yeah. Okay. Your happiest moment during the day? Um... When you eat, when you wake up, when you post on social when I, media. When I post a TikTok. <laughs> because there's just so much effort going into there's those so videos. And then once it's up and out in the world, I'm just like, whew. That's over. And then on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is there some of your platform stuff that you're planning on giving the fans? So uh, Drew right now from Japan was asking anything that you're planning to do like on your platforms. It can be like more videos, mm-hmm. more lives, maybe covers because you just did a BTS cover I too. I did a BTS love cover of Who. Mm-hmm. Who are you? Yeah, and you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Uh, something that I'm getting ready for is a live stream concert. Oh, whoa! Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, there's actually two coming up. There's uh, Both of them are going to be uh, live streamed on the 23rd of May. Okay. One of them uh, is 
for my second anniversary of my fan club called okay. Clovers, Kevin Lovers, Clovers. Um, and I'm doing a concert for them for that. And also I'm doing a charity live concert with Amber, uh, James, um, so many other talented Asian American artists. So, so when's much- that? That's also on the 23rd. Okay, so on the 23rd, we need to be on our phones and streaming because there's going to be a lot of fun stuff to do. Yep. Perfect thing to end the show with today because I'm over time. Like, what? way over time. Really? Oh, my God. So we need to bring this cutie back into the studio later. And thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'll see you online. Yeah. <laughs> bye, Kevin. Okay, bye, everyone. Please stay safe and healthy. Love you. Sending him out of the studio is going to be James and coming on the track with following the Korean version. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.